I will quickly go through the introduction. So our projects belongs to the field of genomics. To be precise, it belongs to the field of metagenomics. In metagenomics, we take a sample direct from the environment and we analyze the genomic content of that without any lab cultivation. So here is an example of a genomic sequence with ACGT. So after we analyze and process our data, what we do is we visualize those data in order to get more insights. So PC and TSNE is a technique that have been currently used uh, in order to reduce the dimension of the chemo frequency vectors of metagenomics. So it has low capability and scalability in which we are trying to incorporate autoencoders in order to improve the process. Let me discuss the methodology of our research. The input to our uh, process is a set of whole genome sequences like this. For each sequence, we obtain a large number of chunks from random locations in that sequence. For each chunk, we uh, calculate the uh, corresponding chemo frequency vector. Then we uh, normalize these vectors. What we end up with is a set of high dimensional vectors. Then we use an autoencoder to uh, lower the dimensionality of these vectors to two. Also, we use uh, PC and TSNE to evaluate how well the autoencoder uh, performs at dimension reduction. Then we visualize these uh, 2D vectors using a scatter plot like this. This is an overview of the process uh, I uh, talked about. Moving on to the results and evaluation. For evaluation purposes, we use two clustering evaluation metrics, variety measure, an extrinsic metric, and silhouette coefficient, an intrinsic metric. As this results portray for tetranucleotides here and trinucleotides here, autoencoders perform significantly better in the extrinsic metrics front, reflecting its abilities of preserving the high dimensional data. What was also observed is the autoencoder's ability to retain overall global structure of the data as depicted here in the conservation of taxonomic information. It is these findings that motivated us to build MetaG. MetaG is a tool that can analyze metagenomic data and uh, produce uh, visualizations. Currently, MetaG has uh, three techniques to analyze metagenomic data. The analysis is based on uh, autoencoders. The analysis based on uh, PC and TSNE and uh, the analysis uh, based on the popular tool uh, BLAST. This is a high level uh, architectural diagram of Metagy. This is the pipeline uh, through which uh, data goes uh, in uh, Metagy. As you can see, in addition to uh, KMA uh, frequency based analysis, uh, MetaG can also analyze data using BLAST and uh, extract taxonomic information from uh, the sequences. And uh, finally, all these uh, data collected is used to generate uh, visualizations. Let's take a quick look at MetaG in this short demonstration. This is MetaG. This tab is the autoencoder analysis tab. And what you see here is the settings toolbar where you can choose your FASTA file and set the parameters for the autoencoder, like the k-value, uh, autoencoder layers, and the activation function. Uh, what you see here is uh, the autoencoder trained, is the output of an autoencoder trained for the Atlantic right whale gut metagenome obtained from NCBI. Uh, this graph shows the former frequency percentages, and this is the GC content pie chart for the sample. Moving on to the taxonomic analysis tab, this tab shows uh, the same output from the autoencoder with taxonomic insights from BLAST. Microorganisms here are colored using the hits from BLAST and uh, these pie charts show the distribution of reads in various taxonomic levels like class, order, family, genus and species. And these violin plots uh, show the GC content distribution for each microorganism uh, found in the sample. This here is the TSNE PC analysis tab. And what you see here is the output of the TCA, PS, PCA, uh, TSNE PCA combination uh, for the same right fair gut metagenomic dataset. We are also thrilled to inform that MetaG version 2.0 with improved open TSNE and UMAP will be released by the end of May. Some of the many milestones during the course of our project include winning the award for the best paper at IICTA and presenting at BIBM last year. For any
any inquiries feel free to contact me here hope you enjoyed the video